Hi everyone! So this video is going to be my favorite products of 2016, or the best products of 2016, or my ride or die products. I don't know exactly what I'm going to name this video yet, but if this interests you, please keep watching. So the first product I'm going to mention, and this ranges from cosmetics to just about anything that I literally use every day of my life. My first product is not a cosmetic product. It is a deodorant, and it is the La Vanilla uh, Vanilla Breeze. It's called the Healthy Deodorant and Sport Lux. The vanilla one is good, but I think the sport one is even better. I am so obsessed with the La Vanilla brand. It is by far the best vegan deodorant out there, and it's also natural, so you know that you're not putting any harming ingredients on your skin, and it's just overall amazing. So I would highly recommend. I got this on Sephora.com. The next product I wanted to mention is a book. This book definitely changed my life. It is called The Starch Solution by John McDougall. He is a doctor. He is absolutely amazing and he's taught me everything that I need to know about the healthiest possible diet you can be on, which is high in starches. And this might be new to you because it was definitely new to me, but it's something to think about. I know there's a million dieting books out there that say a thousand different things, but you know what? This one is the only one that ever made sense to me and never ever made me deprive anything that I didn't want to eat. And to me, this was just a life changer and a game changer. And ever since I've been so happy with my life, my diet, everything. So please give this a read if you're looking for a great book. The next product I wanted to mention is a little bit strange, but it is this head massager. My boyfriend got it for me a while ago, probably over a year ago, and I just started using it regularly. Like, it is seriously amazing. You just put it on your head like this, and oh my god, the sensation is absolutely insane, guys. I cannot get enough of this. It's like, I can't even explain how good it feels. <laughs> And you won't really know until you invest in one. And they're not very expensive, I'm sure. So, one of my favorites. My next favorite is, I'm sure some of you that have been following me for a while on my social media sites um, know that this is my all-time favorite facial cleanser. So this is the Yes2 brand from Target. And they're also sold online, I believe. They are so amazing. They are cruelty free and this product is vegan and it's yes to carrots, that's the line I got and it's their facial cleanser with no fragrance, it is fragrance free and it is just amazing on your skin. It will clear your acne right up if you have any and it just makes your face feel so unbelievably smooth. It's just so good. So check it out. My next product is a hand lotion and it is by the brand EO and they are a cruelty free brand. This lotion is vegan and the scent is in coconut vanilla which is one of my favorite scents of all time. I just love sweet scents um, and it has, I feel like I wouldn't like it as much if it didn't have that hint of tangerine in it. Oh, it's out of this world. I've never smelled a body lotion that has ever, ever smelled this good. So I would highly recommend and it is unbelievably moisturizing. My next product is a day cream and a night cream that I put on before I do my makeup and before I go to bed. And it looks like this. It is by the brand Derma E and it is absolutely incredible. It makes your skin feel so, so soft. It absorbs into your skin very quickly so you don't have to worry about sitting there letting it dry before you apply your makeup. And I have the night cream that looks exactly like this. The only difference is that it says night cream. Um, the consistency is a little bit different. The night cream is to die for. If you're in a good, if you're in the market for a good night cream, I would highly, highly recommend Dermy. And I have purchased this from Target. They also sell them pretty much everywhere. They have it at Whole Foods too. So check that out if you're in the market for a good cream. My next product is a fragrance. And it is not cruelty free or vegan, but I felt like I had to put in what my favorite scent was of 2016 because I am a fragrance, I'm in fragrance sales 
so it was pretty important to me to put this in. Um, I've gotten a lot of questions about it. It was Bella by Vince Camuto. This was my summer of 2016 scent and it smells heavenly. I don't know if you can see that. Um, it smells like something I can't even explain. It's fruity and sweet but not too sweet. It's more of like a like a tropical scent. There's just no fragrance that is similar to this that I can point out. I think it's so unique and I absolutely love it. And my second and last perfume of 2016, which I wore towards the end of 2016 all the time. It's very much of a more sophisticated scent. It is by Bulgari and it is called Jasmine Noir. It is an eau de parfum. Macy's no longer carries this one but it is to die for. If you're looking for a sophisticated scent, maybe you're in your 20s or 30s, or even up from that, I would highly, highly suggest this fragrance. It smells, it smells amazing. There's a hint of amber in it, and oh, it's just great. I would highly recommend to check this one out too. My next favorite of the month are these Wet n Wild brushes. I plan on purchasing the entire collection because I have used many high-end brushes and no, no one has created brushes as good as Wet n Wild in my opinion. And they're like two, three dollars each at the drugstore. It's unbelievable. So they are cruelty free and vegan and I would highly, highly recommend to pick these up because these are high quality makeup brushes um, compared to any other high-end brand. I, I I don't understand why you wouldn't buy this. <laughs> so if you're in the market for makeup brushes, go with the Wet n Wild ones. My next product is not cruelty free or vegan, but it was my favorite of 2016. It is by MAC. Um, it's called Nylon Eyeshadow and I only use this for the inner corners of the eyes and the brow highlights. Sometimes today I'm using Carly Bibles, but I'll put this on when I want something extremely intense. It has a bit of um, shine to it, so here I'll swatch it. I'll come out a bit, but if you can see this, it looks like this. It's very, very, very shiny and in your face, kind of. So if you're in the market, for a MAC product, nylon might be good. My favorite bronzer of 2016 was Hoola by Benefit. It is not cruelty free or vegan. So would I recommend? No, because I found a cruelty free or vegan one that was 10 times better than that. I'm not gonna mention it in this video because I just discovered it. It's, um, I will tell you what it is. It's the Butter Bronzer by Physician's formula and it is incredible and it smells like coconuts um, This was a great bronzer, but the one that I just discovered is the best bronzer So my next favorite product and something that I Feel is going to be very hard for me to give up even though of course I will anyways is this Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer with broad spectrum SPF 20 It is a game-changer Forget foundation. It's what I have on my face right now. It is so smooth and so natural looking. You can't even tell that I'm wearing anything other than the bronzer, obviously. But I wear this all week and I only wear foundation on the weekends usually, or if I know that I'm going out somewhere. But even then, I really only wanna ever wear this. It gives the most flawless amount of coverage and it's just absolutely incredible, so. Um, if anyone knows of a cruelty-free or vegan tinted moisturizer, moisturizer that compares to the La Mercier one, please let me know because I am in love with this product. My next favorite of 2016, surprise surprise, is this Too Faced Hangover RX Primer. It is a winner for sure. Um, it works unbelievable for dry skin or normal skin. It is so hydrating, it has a pump, which makes it last longer. It's just, everything about this product is great. It really, really keeps your makeup on all day. My other favorite primer of 2016, which 
I can't choose which one I like better yet because I have to go back to using this to, to see. It's the Bare Minerals Primetime Original uh, Primer. It is amazing and it's so moisturizing also. I would highly recommend getting this one too. It is cruelty free and vegan also. I would say that this one has more of an oil based texture and this one has more of like a water based texture. Another surprise to you, my other favorite of the month, is Mascara Better Than Sex by Too Faced. It is unbelievable. It makes my lashes incredibly long, and I already have very long eyelashes, but it just makes them so voluptuous and so long at the same time, and not many mascaras can do that. So I would highly recommend Better Than Sex by Too Faced, the original formula, not the waterproof. My favorite concealer, of course, is this NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Custard. It works wonders. The coverage is amazing, doesn't crease up or anything. It is so moisturizing. I love everything about it, so highly recommend. My favorite highlighter, of course, is by one of my favorite YouTubers, Jacqueline Hill times Becca. They created it themselves. She created the shade, they created the formula. I hit pan on it already, and I, I hate to let it go, but it is not cruelty-free or vegan. I mean, it is cruelty-free, but it is not vegan, so I will not be repurchasing, but what a shame. This is such an amazingly gorgeous shade, my favorite highlighter of all time. Another favorite product is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in soft brown. It has a spoolie on one end and a stick on the other end, which is how you apply your product. So I would highly recommend it is cruelty free and vegan, so check it out. It's really great for um, sculpting your brows. That's what I used today and I only used that, so I would highly recommend if you like the natural look of brows. My next favorite blush is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush in the shade Apricot. It is, or Apricot in the middle is the full name. It is absolutely amazing. The color of it is incredible. I'll swatch it on my hand. You can see it has a peachy tone to it. I don't know if you can see it there. Yeah, there it is. That highlight next to it, the Urban Decay highlighter. Yeah, it's pretty incredible. My next favorite product is lips, and I have four to share with you, of course, because they are my favorite products. I have Kylie's Ginger. Um, it is one of her matte lips, and it is just a gorgeous, gorgeous color. I don't have anything in my collection that really compares to it, so. This is what it looks like on my hand. So it just gives, it's a gorgeous reddish berry slash brownish tone. It is absolutely gorgeous. I love it if you're in the market for one of the Kylie Cosmetic lipsticks. I would highly recommend Ginger. I think it would look good on all skin types. Also, it is cruelty free in vegan. My other favorite of 2016 is ColourPop's Beeper Ultra Matte Lip. And this one, I think I've worn the most out of any lipstick I own. I'm wearing it on my lips right now. I thought it went perfectly with this eyeshadow look. It is a mauve shade, which is one of my favorite lipstick shades. And I will swatch that for you. On my hand, even though I'm wearing it. So that's deeper. Definitely more of a mauve color rather than ginger's more red tones. But it is so gorgeous for a day-to-day -day basis. And then I have Tool by ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip, which I'm Unfortunately, is not vegan and I really 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 want Colourpop to make it vegan please it is so amazingly gorgeous it is a very mauve shade it's definitely the darkest one here it is so gorgeous and this is my night out shade I wear it going out almost every single time I go out at night and it's just so gorgeous you see this ah oh, it's just amazing it's so pretty guys Ah, uh, it's like one of my favorite lipsticks of all time. I just want them to make it vegan, please. Please, Colourpop, if you're watching, make Tool vegan. My last 
lipstick is not actually an ultra matte lip. It's the ColourPop Lippy Sticks in the shade Lumiere. And this was created by one of my favorite YouTubers, Kathleen Lights. Highly recommend to check her out if you haven't already. I will swatch it for you. It's a gorgeous, if you're looking for an everyday shade, I would highly, highly recommend Lumiere. It has a gorgeous sheen to it. It's not glossy by any means. It's definitely matte, but it has this gorgeous sheen to it, if you can see that. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty, guys. And I wear this on a day-to-day -day basis at work, my day job. I absolutely love it. So those are my favorite lipsticks of 2016. And trust me, I have a ton, and it was very hard for me to narrow it down, but I'm confident that those are definitely my most used lipsticks. So, well, that is all for today, guys. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you really enjoyed this and got some value out of it and I'm not going to encourage you to go buy anything I said because um, I would never encourage overspending but if you are truthfully looking for a certain specific product like a bronzer or something, I would highly recommend these products. But don't jump out of your seats and go buy them please just think about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Love you. Bye.